All right, next up, since uh, we're on the Lux uh, kind of theme today, uh, I'm gonna revisit this list we haven't played in a little while. So Jace Lux was a deck we played on stream a little while ago, pretty much when Jace was first introduced, had a great time with it. We've played a Jace Heimer variation that felt uh, kind of reasonable, and it was, you know, it was very fun. It was kind of doing a little, little uh, something a little different with the tech angle, but just felt like revisiting this version because I feel like this is probably the better of the two, especially if you're going to be, you know, in Demacia for your second uh, second region. So yeah, I'm just curious to see how how this deck feels. Been a while since I played it. Been a while since I've really looked over it, to be honest. I'm kind of just doing that quickly now, seeing if there's any other changes I would like to make. Everything in the list felt reasonable the last time. Things haven't changed too, too much. I can see these Mage Seeker Conservators not being great. I like them because having more one drops against aggro felt good, and it's also another spell generator, so it felt okay. But I could see these being something else. Um, not sure what. I'm pretty comfortable and pretty happy with the number of six mana spells we have in here. Remembrance, which can sometimes be cheaper if you need it to be in certain in certain cases. I felt like it was a great pickup shock blast as a, as a reach, but also a way to control the board. Back to back unexpectedly felt really great in a lot of situations, so I like that here. And then and then really we have five other cards here at the bottom end that are generating six mana spells. Actually, in the Vanguard Sergeant also as well. So we don't have a sh we definitely don't have a shortage of five mana spells. So yeah, let's just play play with what we have and see how we do, and uh, we'll consider making changes as we go, perhaps. Or by the end of this set, we'll see how things feel, and maybe if those Mage Seekers aren't pulling their weight, get them out of there for something else. Just trying to think of new cards, change cards, and I don't know, I think I'm pretty happy with those. There's not much else I could see really wanting to put in there instead. Unless I just really want to, to have the deck go bigger, have even more top end, but things as is felt. That's what that sound was. It's like we're we're not we're not even in the match yet, and things are roaring at us. What's better, Forge of Tomorrow or Vanguard Forge? Forge of Tomorrow can let us can generate us a lot of tempo at at some point if it means like if that could help us turn the corner. But the three four, I mean, that's a three four. So I mean, he can block. Um even Draven. So I, I think we go like this, looking for a one. And the sharp side's also nice in this situation. Come on, people. I wonder if they actually don't today. have a one mana play and we're gonna get a free spell mana off of this. That'd be very nice. Yeah, look, we drew into the Forge of Tomorrow anyway. The one thing I, I usually say for this deck is you don't really, hmm. Do I wanna save her? I think it might be worth it. Push a little bit of damage too. Generate a spell mana. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I usually don't keep three cost cards in, in in the opening hand, especially against aggro, because we we have so many to draw into and so many twos as well. So usually I just kind of not bother. Uh, let's see. In this situation. Well, I guess we'll see what they play. I have this fearsome guy here, so I definitely I might actually just play the Mage Seeker as a as a, as a blocker. Magic. Like this thing can get bigger at some point, so I mean. I like swinging here and just getting the spell mana. And if they trade, I mean, it works for me too. Another pokey stick? No, they're just letting it happen. I mean, that's a great. I feel like that's a great exchange for us. Yep, definitely going for this. 
Let's roll the dice. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Let's take this puppy for a spin. Um, do I want to play Forge? We don't have anything to block this currently, so I kind of want to play this. Then we, then we can't play that. Do we think they're going to swing with just these two things? They might, actually. Soldiers, it's me. Let's go with this. Can block both of these. Play this out as well. All the financiers coming out. Hmm. I mean, I'm perfectly fine passing if they, uh... This is where the magic happens. I'd actually play this. Opponent clearly having connection issues, I think. Wow, that was a bad hit. Dragon, okay. This one could be a little bit tougher, because their stuff gets very big very quickly. And, uh... It could be hard for us to keep it contained. Like, a lot of our removal... Well, all of our removal is damage-based, so... And they have a lot of pump spells, too, so... It'd be tough to get out of range. What they are trying to do... I think this is worth shooting to slow them down. The Mystic Shot's not, uh, not like super valuable anyway, so like slowing them down definitely worthwhile here. Never again will we fall to dragon Okay, fire. well they have a dragon in hand. Do they do we think they would sharp sight this if I laid it down? Do I care? I actually don't. If they want to use a sharp sight to save, like, get more value out of their 3-2, I think I'm okay with that. Ooh. I think I'm supposed to pass here. They'll burn one more mana than we do, and um, it gives us the opportunity for them to make a mistake, potentially, and play something out. 
that we can then challenge with Jace. Yeah, I I'm fine here passing if, they, if, they, if that's all they want to do. I kind of wish I had that in hand before, because I, I would have played that out. Because now if they do a Siobhan or something... Yeah, that's irritating. That's fine. What are they going to play? They're going to play Shivana or maybe the three mana thing. Confine and contain. I found a home the Dragon God. We are your people, Anna, and you ours. So, um, Sharp Sight's not enough to save her, so that's nice. Didn't want to eat the one one, okay. Yeah, once again, we're gonna pass here. Let's see what they do. That is a bit scary. Um, boo, 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 boo. control the mages, keep the peace. I want to keep the back-to-back -back thing available still. Take a look at this. Prepare for battle. Search them. I think I like back-to-back -back both of these. Am I letting that become? I guess it's still seven hit points. It just gets one more attack. It's not a big deal. If they single combat here, that would be so great for us. If they try to do that. We have multiple ways of dealing with that. Well, I mean, we're going to sharp, su ugh, sharp sight. So this and this die. Come on, single combat the 6-7. You know you want to. Single combating there. That is interesting. Okay, I don't... Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. I think I'll go with Challenger. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Ooh, that's so good. I didn't. I just realized what he created. of tech that's a bit greedy tech tech engage you can't outrun justice <laughs> yeah our opponent didn't really realize what was going on there they just thought Eclipse Dragon into uh, A-Soul is the wombo combo. Nothing can beat this. Sorry. We didn't have to trade with our with their stuff too. Our our guys just ate it, ate them. So good.
Interesting, with Sharima, huh? Sharima... I'm trying to think what, they, what they're doing in Sharima. I think I want a Jace. His challenger, challenging like the little... Little guys, I think is... Um, is worthwhile. Sharp Sight, excellent, excellent draw. Can be excellent for this matchup. Um, anyway, Sharima. What are they doing in Sharima? Making our stuff vulnerable? Or are they like on a Sand Soldier? No, they can't be on Sand Soldiers. I don't know. I'm curious to see what they're up to. There's a few different directions I could see them going with it. Ooh, okay. So I could play the Forge Chief. Uh, another Forge Chief. If I do... We get a little punished if they play an Ari, but it does mean we put them in Mystic Shot range, but they have so many Recall things that it's probably not worth it. So I'm just gonna attack. Let's see what they do. Uh, I think it's fine trying to deny them the card draw here. At the very least, it forces them to use another spell. Okay. Nature does not mourn. I will. Ooh, Thermal Beam's a decent pickup, actually. Uh, in that case, we'll play this. Work. I was gonna Sharp Sight the Block. Strikes. But... Well, it actually recalls it, it doesn't die. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. I'm gonna go ahead and play well, Challenger here. The man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. I'll take care of this. Let's kill everything on their board. Ooh, backup Jace is nice. Hide for a moment. Run forever. Nature does not mourn. I will. I live for those who do not. Break the silence. So, do I... I mean... Probably supposed to start stopping this. This is my choice. Oh, Hide for a moment. oh they're just Run playing it out. Forever. Okay. What do we think they're up to? I kind of like this. Deal. There's always a way out. Let's brighten up their day. Am I supposed to, like, just willy-nilly sacrifice the Jace here? It might be correct, because it's gonna be a while before... ...he's leveled at this point, and I, I don't want to, like, just slowly die to these elusives. He's also marked, so, like, as soon as he finds a cannon... ...before they can stop this, I think this is worthwhile. It's just also very efficient. That's a really good pickup, actually. Nature now we can uh, I will. do stuff on our next turn. Magic corrupts Demacia from within. Your Demacia is nothing like what I know. A Demacia soldier is worth ten foes. The forest surrounds us.
<laughs> They're afraid of yeah. Well, they could replay everything though. Right there. I protect my own. Oh, is she leveling? That is so unfortunate. So we're dead to uh thingy. heart beats with mine. No, we weren't quite dead to uh whatchamacallit. We weren't in it we weren't gonna be in a good spot. Okay, well, let's see what we draw. You have chosen your path. Promise it won't cross with you. A remembrance. Well, I think we gotta go for this. Deny. Stand strong. I've been hiding my life too long. She's been hiding her light too long. I think we want to start here, actually, and see what they do. By the light! I, you have no alibi! What's another arrow? A hunter approaches. Yeah, that's too bad. That's interesting. Why would they do Here that? I am. Do they? The order rewards its faithful. Uh, there's nothing we can do about another elusive, right? Not really. The sun is shining. Oh no, we can kill we the elusives, do. I suppose. Whew. Dead to another Ari. If they notify this, no, we're not dead. That's it. The hunt eternal. Captivating. I will play my part. They have a one man buff. Run if you can. This left. Huh. They play this, they draw. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's only nine. Well, that was a good hit. Don't squander life's gifts. The dark beckons. A beacon through the dark. Oh, 
Sovereign Justice! We're one short away. I could deny this, and then we're dead. Good games. Losing is just an opportunity to shine even brighter. Yeah, close one. Uh, yeah, I'd have to watch the replay there to see if there's anything really different we could have done. We could have saved ourselves maybe a couple points of damage if we were a little bit more aggressive with our Jace in the early game. That I, because I ended up trading him for an elusive threat anyway. So maybe, maybe there was a turn where we took a couple points of damage where we didn't need to. But at the time, I don't know that that would have been a wise exchange. This is the same guy we just played. Might be. I like the sharp sights. I kind of feel like I, I got to keep these sharp sight. Yikes. Alright. gonna get all of our most expensive things in hand, huh? That's how this is gonna work. I have studied every fighting manual. Break the silence. Yeah, okay. Maybe keeping two sharp sights was a mistake. I mean, these were our next four draws, though, so it's like... If this doesn't resolve or, like, something, I, I might just pass it already. <laughs> And such crappy draws today. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Oh, such crappy draws this match. I mean, this is this is the type of deck that definitely benefits from sideboards. So something like Alvis Feroz comes out immediately, right? Actually, I'm fine with that exchange. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I live for those who do not. Maybe I'm supposed to hold off on this because they could do the um, the, the four mana la uh, recall recall spell. 
and then I could stop it with this. Forever. Whew. Okay, well, that doesn't do anything anymore, I guess, but he's just going wide. Mages can't hide from me. The order rewards its faithful. My cause is you have no alibi. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. What's another arrow? Great. Do I like locks before remembrance? Let the light guide you. Might actually play it too. The fourth strikes. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing! Deny is a particularly strong... ...card in this matchup because we, we don't care that much about getting the thing as much as we care about also generating Pushing stuff with limit. it. <laughs> Definitely kill us here with uh with buffs. supposed to pick the thing that doesn't draw them a card when they recall it. Yeah, I'm supposed to pick something else. 
Yeah, Should have just targeted this. Yep. No more holding back. Nature does not mourn. I will. <laughs> There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Hey, show me that again. Now they're gonna deny everything? Like, is that the other reason why they're in Shreema? Just to have access to right of negation? Both of these go by mine. That Gate was is a go. Oh, okay, so this can't be blocked, but we also would like for this to connect. Powering up. Cavalrys to the field. I should have played her out. Hey, we got him. I thought for sure we were dead somehow. Did we win? They probably couldn't stop both the fearsome and the life gain, and they realized that from at that point uh, they were just falling too far behind. Which I agree. Like if if they had to stop the fearsome and then the uh, the life gain connected. I didn't see a world where they come back from that. I guess they still had powered up champions. That was going to uh, potentially be problematic. Yeah, exactly. They probably thought, they probably figured I can't stop myself from dying to the fearsome unit and stop the lifesteal from connecting. Um, I mean, we had we had two lethal threats besides the life stealer too, as well. But I figured they could do uh, ancient guardian. Which one's ancient guardian? Is that a card that I'm not familiar with? Ooh. Oh, Radiant Guardian. I do not use Radiant Guardian. I originally used Radiant Guardian and felt it was just... It, it just it didn't feel good in the list. There was no real way of triggering its effect reliably in a lot of situations. Uh, yeah, the, the second iteration, which is pretty much this iteration, has felt better just having more early blockers. There's definitely going to be some games where that's not good enough as, um, also, but... Uh, do we want to use Sharp Sight to block the precious pet, should they attack with it? Come on, people. Let's I think so. Tomorrow today. Yeah. Not on my work site, Bob. Summon elite roots of each ally that died this round. Eeeh. Eeeh. 
I get the thing that lets us gas back up because we're already running low on cards. I don't think I want to throw this into the 1-1. One, one. Let Recite protect me. I could attack with this and then they, this would trade. I don't think that's worth it. All right. I know what lurks in the shadows. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. War Mason, reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. So are they passing then to guaranteed level the Elise? That's what I assume they're gonna do. My true beauty is beneath the skin. Let's do this. Let's see what they do. It's too bad they won't we don't have that challenger guy. They found more Imperial Demolitionists, that's gonna suck. Your path ends here. Yep. I don't think they need it to be this defensive, but we'll take it. Oh, they played the wrong one. Or, or, yeah, they played the wrong one. Hextech Cannon tested and primed. I'm going to pass because I don't want them to play the thing that gives everything minus whatever and then we don't have back-to-back -back that we could hold up. It still might be worth mystic shotting one of these spiders, though. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Uh, okay, so now... Well, here's the thing. We play this... They could try to trade with Elise, but if they do that, uh, we're kind of okay with that. I'm gonna do this. Okay, now they don't have any Trixies. Still, would I rather back to back two things to keep them alive? Probably. They hook. They probably hook here. I can't block this currently. Oh wait, no, I can with this. They could they could hook that, so I can't block this. I'm probably overthinking this. Hey big man! You ready to get inventing? <laughs> All day, every day, Reggie. Like I'm nowhere near dying, so I don't think I have to worry too much. Yep. Who's gonna get in my way? I hook the three four, so I can't block the three two. Yeah, but I'm. Watch your toes. Yeah. Okay. We're fine with this. We're fine. Everything's fine. Let's go, people. It's actually a pretty good hit. Yeah, I think we're done here. I think we are done here. I could Mystic Shot this to start, see if we can't push some damage.
It's mildly scary, I guess. I don't know. Tomorrow has never looked so good. Let's get started. What? Gonna mark today down as a success. If they if they ran off a Sorry. bunch of burn spells, we could have been in trouble. Hmm. I guess we take we'll take it. Hmm. Like if they're running a but like if they like a what, what were we at? We were at eleven, right? So they. They hit us with, and then we were at nine. If they hit us with that Doom Beast, I guess they, I guess they still needed a lot at that point. Yeah, they would have needed units for Noxian Fervor. Decimates not enough. Hmm. Double Mystic Shot deals with Viego, but I don't think we we like or um, Kindred. It might, it might not be. It probably doesn't deal with Viego by the time he hits the board. I actually don't think we like any of this for this matchup. I want that Challenger unit. I think I think we, we lose pretty hard to this deck, but I could be wrong. I think we uh, yeah, like this guy. If we can if we can get good linear draws. Yeah, like this. This is a nice one, two, three. Especially if they don't have a blocker here. There we go. There's a there's a thermal beam. Uh, let's get aggressive. They're they're definitely the control deck in this matchup. Gotta say, not a bad place to work. Okay, we're already at six mana, which is nice. I don't really want to use this. It's the thing. How greedy do I want to get? Do I want to try to get my mana ref uh, one mana refund by blocking here? No, that's stupid because I'm passing with plenty of spell mana to as is. Come on, mate. Deal. That's a uh, that's a combat trick that's not potentially saving a uh, a kindred or Viego down the line. So I think I'm fine with that. Could do this. I think I I think I'm playing Lux this turn. I think I'm playing Lux this turn. The sun is shining. They could vengeance, but we have um, you know two more luck. I think I want to keep this guy around as a challenger. Second forge doesn't really do much. We can do this. They're just playing these two. Oh, okay. As we practice, team. We need clearance, pal. What are you hiding? We're in this together. Remember when I said that we were the beat down deck? Now we're getting beaten down. It's fine. The life totals in this matchup don't really matter. 
That is a shock blast. Playing this would, would allow me to hold up um, hold up some mana still. We still have six mana. This guy gets challenger if they want to play something big. Now they're going to vengeance. Or now they're going to recall. Wow, they have no blockers here. That's so good for us. They're in trouble. Everywhere I go, the light Whoops, follows. slight mistake there. I played my... Uh... Never back down from what you believe. This is worth thermo beaming. If they deny it, um, I mean that. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I've been hiding my life too long. This has happened a few times today, where people protect their thing from our, one of our damage base removal. It levels Lux, creating a final spark and basically again. negating what they what they did. It doesn't completely negate what they did, but definitely doesn't give them the desired result. Uh, yeah, we can go one more, I think. Yeah, well, like they think they they think they're thinking they're gonna save their unit, and then it ends up dying to the final spark anyway. But the difference being that they take a little bit less damage from the from the final spark on their nexus. Because if they just let their thing die, then I target the nexus and they die to uh, to the final spark. But then but then they're just gonna lose their unit, and then I open attacks next turn, and they're dead anyway. Uh, I'm just looking for blockers. I need. I want one of our, our ones in this matchup because they're likely going to play a one drop and start triggering plunder, which I don't want. Unfortunately, yeah, we didn't get it, so it's going to be rough. Ooh, they didn't have... Oh, there you are. A, a little late. You're lucky they didn't have a one mana card or I would have been very upset with you. Uh, is this Is this a pass? I don't think this is a pass. I think this is a Pharaoh's financier. Back to back. I help when I can. Shut pretty up good, when I, can. I think. This has been a surprisingly good card in this list in the past. In fact, my original list was not running any copies of this, and then when we started generating a lot of them from Pharaoh's financier, I kept feeling like, you know what, I probably just want this actual card in the deck. She kicks, huh? I can't block here. And when this slays, it's going to get plus one attack. So actually, it's better just to pass because then it'll do potentially one less damage. I guess I'm just giving them the opportunity to order their blockers incorrectly. I got this. Watch your toes. They forgot about fearsome on this unit. 100% they forgot about Fearsome there. At this point, this thing is dying to a... Um, to uh, make it rain, so I'm wondering if I'm just supposed to pass. Nah, no, we'll play something.
We have exactly six mana. That's so awkward. I would if we had seven, I could have played this. Back to back, have giving this thing challenger and then get get this thing. As is, I could still do that. Or I could take the slightly riskier approach and play Remembrance. I could also play Jace with Challenger. If they have Warning Shot into Monster Harpoon, that's extra bad for us. Whereas if they Monster Harpoon this to save this, it's not as bad. Brighter tomorrow. Doing this now at least means if they don't monster harpoon this turn, we have an opportunity to keep Jace alive through these back to backs. Come on. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. Yeah, Monster Harpoon is. I wonder if they had it in hand and they forgot that it. Because that seemed like a strange use of Make It Rain when they were going to get the plunder trigger from the monkey anyway. Maybe they just wanted to use their mana for the turn. Yeah, maybe they just wanted to use their mana and not um, lose this thing. I like Forge Chief or Mage Seeker here. I think I like. Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great, we're running into heat issues. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? They're probably just attacking with Zap here. I. <laughs> Huh. Insolent cur. Monster Harpoon deals five, right? So if I do play this on these two, it's fine. Cause I, I really don't want to not use my mana. It also means I have another challenger unit for both of their annoying uh, units the next turn. Were they at two out of five? Okay. There's plenty of killing left. Powering up. You have no alibi. See how good these back-to-backs are? They're so good. They're so they're they're surprisingly good for pushing damage too. In those situations where you go wide, because you've curved out, you've played a uh, the Forge of Tomorrow, you got a bunch of units out. Kind of like the four Demasis that are in the deck. Okay. So regardless of what they play, we're gonna play the Remembrance here. Bow to no one. We can at least get some value off of Jace Replicate before he expires. And then we can play Albus the next turn. Who's dealing a lot. <laughs> yes! I mean, we're still in trouble. She's close to leveling, right? So, gotta be careful. Ooh. So this plus this kills these things now. Does she still do her thing that where on the turn she levels up, she she frostbites things? 
That would be so unfortunately annoying. I think I'm supposed to... You can't outrun justice! Because they could have a thing, a slow thing that generates a... Uh, warning shot. That four mana guy. Why didn't I swing with her? Should have swung with her too. That was a slight mistake. We, we could still very easily lose this game. Are they thinking I'm holding up Thermobeam? Oh no, they got the Gangplank. They found the Gangplank! The future is what I make it. Bristle, attack! Maidens can't hide from me. So, ooh, that's a sharp sight. That is a sharp sight. Albus, you wanted to see me? Yes, I want to see what you're doing with the Pharaoh's fortune. Your king has returned. Dead men tell my tale. Interesting use of tech. I don't think we can I we can win without trying to do this, so we gotta hope they don't have another warning shot in hand. Oh. Um that was mistimed by them. So do I change anything? I guess I could power up this thing so it doesn't die. Okay, let's think about this. No, I might need this. I have to hope for like, Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get started. That's 20 exactly. I guess this guy's hitting real fucking hard. Wow, he had nothing. Yeah, I think it was a mistake to, uh, to, mark to use the Make It Rain like he did. If that was their only way of dealing Frostbite damage, they needed to wait and pray after I, uh, after the, uh, the gates went off for sure. <laughs> Oh right, her thing only works the first time you hit the Nexus, so even if he had another thing, he couldn't have used it anyway. Yeah, that was super loose then. Super big mistake. But whatever, we got there, we'll take those. Alright, I mean we had a pretty successful day today with our with our Lux decks. We went from like, what, gold, 
the the very bottom of gold three to gold 1.5 or something like that 1.25 fun stuff Lux is just such a cool champion one of my favorites for sure yeah so Sejuani can feel pretty bad to play against sometimes so it's nice when you uh when you get him especially losing to the to the RNG there would have felt kind of bad. We had like a mostly full board, and of course the one hit hits the hits the enemy nexus. But you know that's what their deck is built around. Built around. Uh, what do we think about this deck to actually wrap up and give final thoughts? Yeah, I mean, we, I, I don't know if there's any really major takeaways we can from that set. Like I said, one of the things at the start was these mage seekers might feel kind of iffy. Um, and something that doesn't feel necessary instead of something else. Maybe if, you know, you, you feel like you are getting burnt out a bunch, you can try the Radiant Guardians. As I mentioned before, I've had the, I had these in the deck to begin with. And they just fi felt really clunky. Because <clears throat> there's no real consistent way of triggering their... Um, you don't have any ways of triggering their, um, their death ability kind of proactively. Obviously, you can throw your stuff into theirs and hope that they block in such a way but when that's not happening and if they're playing around it it, it can be rough for, for whatever reason this card feels much better in the first lux deck that we played even though it kind of has the same issue um it's probably honestly mostly just to do with the curve of that deck right because this deck you don't want to this deck wants to be using like when you're spending this amount of mana it, you want it to be on these big threats whereas that that other deck this is a nice curve filler in addition to being something that can do that but plus that deck has a has like a little bit more early game doesn't it that it can chump block with Eh, yes and no not really i don't know why this this card's never felt good in, in this deck to me felt felt better in the other one but again probably still not not an awful inclusion if you feel like you need the uh the life gain what do you cut I'm not sure. Um, the Shock Blast, maybe. Like, they're not that great. Like, they're, they're kind of there to help control the board if, if uh, opponents are going wide on you. And then, like, sometimes it can help you burn, burn out your opponents to get that last little bit of uh, damage on their Nexus, which is the reason why I like running it for that situation, because it can kind of play both sides. It's a, very, <laughs> it's a very good example of a mid-range card, right? When we're the control deck, we can use it to, to get rid of their threats. When we're the beatdown deck... We can use it to target the enemy Nexus and and finish them off. Same thing with Mystic Shot, right? I, and I feel like that's the role, that's that's the um, the stance that I'm trying to take with this deck, with this this current build. Just be have your proactive kind of linear game plan that's hopefully good enough um, against aggro to see yourself get into the late game. And then once you get to the late game, you can just outvalue... Um, most of what your opponents are doing with a level Jace and or Lux on the field, and they just start popping off. All right, that's going to do it for me today. We had some really fun games today. I think, uh, yeah, going to be back next week playing playing a few more Rune Terror decks, but I think I'm going to call it a day for now. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by and checking the stream out, especially Camelisk, ch chilling in chat for most of it. Uh, if people happen to be watching now or see this replay and are looking for more rune terror content i'll direct you to my youtube channel the link to that is below the stream i upload all the matches we play on stream uh pretty much uncut but sorted by the decks we played so if you missed the uh, lux Vigar deck we played earlier you're gonna see a recording for that uh, up on the stream later today, as well as the one with Jace Lux, and you can see what we played the week before, etc., etc., all the way to the beginning of time. So I, I like breaking down my uh, my sets per deck, so you can see exactly the matchups you're most interested in. Hopefully, get some insight into how to play a deck or how not to play a deck when I'm playing it poorly, and what changes you might want to make if you have ideas, or maybe I give you some ideas you didn't have, etc., etc. That's what these things are for, right? All right. Take care, everyone. Have a good weekend. We'll see you next time. Cheers.